more we can play tough competition, the better this team's going to be. We need that pressure, we need that push, and that's what this first weekend's going to bring. It's all about the championship mindset. When you come and you don't love it, it's evident. If you want to be the best, you have to play the best. We have to fight for it. Every day you show up knowing that if you don't work, you're going to be outworked. If you want to be great, you don't really have a choice. You're either going to show up or you're not. And it's that competitive edge that is ultimately going to lead to a team that's hungry to win every single moment, every single inning, every single day. To me, it's important that we start with tough competition. We all understand, I think as a group of coaches, that iron sharpens iron. So you're not coming in here feeling, oh, I'm so afraid we're not going to win. You're, you're playing to win. And if you can do that early in the season, it's going to catapult your team and ingrain in them this is what your season's going to be like. Over breaks, it can be easy just to uh, have fun and, and just take it easy. But knowing that we have a tough schedule starting in February, um, that motivates every single one of us to, to get in the gym, keep hitting, keep getting our reps in, because we know that we're not going to be behind when we come back in the spring. It doesn't matter if we're back at home at Christmas and we're chilling with our family. We know what we got to get done. Like, I'm going to go work out in the morning before I go to Chris or Thanksgiving dinner and that kind of thing. And just regardless of who we're going to play, we know that we have to be at that standard at all times. Bring it on. I, I love competitive atmosphere. So I want to see where we're at from playing against each other in the fall versus playing really good teams now. Starting the spring out hot with some amazing um, teams and, and ranked teams is something that I think is going to allow us to show what we've worked for in the fall. I think starting hot is something that maybe not a lot of teams like to do just because it's difficult. And if you want to be the best, you have to play the best. So loading that schedule as much as um, we've been able to, I think is something that we're all really excited about. We want those high level competition um, because for us it's like the test, right? If you're not being tested, then it's kind of easy to just start to get complacent. But knowing that we're going to be tested throughout the entire season, early season, mid season, and late season, it's definitely uh, encouraging to keep working hard. Elite competition begins for us in August. And you look in our circle and you have an all-American squad. If you compete against the women around you, you will be ready to play the other women in the other colors. Every one of our practices matters up into this moment that we're going to play in Bill Barber Park. So when we step on the field that first day, we'll see if all of our hard work paid off. We like playing against each other in the battle series, but at some point we want to take that out on other teams. So I'm excited to see um, against great competition in the beginning what we're made of. The more we can play tough competition, the better this team's going to be. We need that pressure, we need that push, and that's what this first weekend's going to bring. I feel pretty loose today, like, yeah, I feel good. The freshman class have been watching our program, and so they, a lot of freshmen, this class included, they came a little bit wide-eyed, like, oh my goodness, also because we just won the national championship. So you start to question, do I belong here? Am I good enough? And without question, all four of them can help deliver something that will help this team win. Kirsten Deal is someone that Sooner fans have been excited to see and watch the number one recruit pitching in the country. Well, she's got the potential to be special. KD, Kirsten Deal uh, can deal. She, <laughs> she does a good job against lefty, lefty matchups. She'll be really good with that in that area. Um, has become a good defender as well. And so we're really excited what she brings to the table. I saw how welcoming everyone was and just seeing the team atmosphere and kind of the family environment. I really wanted to be a part of that and I knew I had to come here. Is this from that YouTube thing? There's like a little show on you guys. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm two episodes in. I think I'm going to binge it. <laughs> Heads up. I ran right into it. <laughs> And run. I, I did, that's run. what I did. I went like this, but of course I ran into it. Yeah, your water bottle is good. Okay, <laughs> so lock into the routine. Know what you want to be mindful of. We're not getting stuck or fixated. Mm -hmm. We're just working. Oh, you're gonna hear me grunting. Mm, not good. <laughs> 
lefty. Curve out to a lefty. I think the one thing for you is being able to let that pitch go. Mm -hmm. You know how to pitch. When you start overthinking your spins, they get worse. Mm -hmm. That's part of the practice right now is going, well, that wasn't what I wanted, but next pitch. <laughs> Not me laughing. It's a party. <laughs> The two seam, I felt like it was good. It just, I think, I just, just needed. Don't to... think about the feel. Okay, okay. Are you able to commit to that pitch and accept the outcome of it? Hey, how was your rhythm? Good. I was how's not. Your routine? I was not thinking about nothing. Good. I was like, bro, I'm about to go out here, not think about nothing, just throw it, <laughs> and it worked. I wanted to come play at OU because I wanted to be a part of the Sooner Sisterhood and the championship mindset. It's a real family atmosphere here and I loved the campus when I came to visit, so it felt like home. Jocelyn Erickson, power, big lefty hitter. I'm really excited about what she can do, uh, whether she, she can catch, she can play first. There's a lot of options we have with her, but she can, again, change the game with one swing. Just tremendous power and ability to put the ball through the gaps as well. So we're excited about her offense. Grounded to short, going to be tough. Hodge throws, just gets, and Avery Hodge has looked smooth over at shortstop, the freshman. Chris Plank, I was telling you earlier, she reminds me a lot of Sydney Romero with her release and mm -hmm. how quick she is to let go of the ball. Not a bad athlete to be compared to. Avery Hodge can work the middle infield very quick on defense, makes big time plays, but also is a little crafty at the Play can bunt, can slap, can hit the ball over, good speed. Change up. No, I am close today. Yeah, I slept all morning. Check the box today, good energy with cuts and relays. That's where like we gotta be more perfect. So focus on the little details with that. Check, Check it off. off. Yay! Hi girl! I want you. We're talking this much between safe and out. So think about, you. they're the quarterback, you're the receiver. So they throw you a ball towards the end zone. I'm running with it. I got it. My step is down and I'm throwing. Stay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm excited about this. The freshman, S.J. Garen's been committed to the Sooners for a very long time. I want to say for the better part of four years, has had a storied high school career, an incredible travel ball career. You know, knowing how hard she's worked, it's a really cool moment. I fell in love with the culture. Oklahoma has always felt like home. And I wanted to play for Coach Gasso because I know that she would not make me only a better player, but a better person. The person that I think has made the most improvement in the fall is S.J. Garen and what she's done for us on the mound and spinning the ball, changing speeds. I've really seen great development in the, all four of these young athletes. They've really developed well this fall. The players who have been here before, they've really been good at teaching the younger players how to step up to the plate. Core of this team, what they need to bring and what they do bring is good example, good role models, what this looks like at practice. And when some of them get upset because they ground out or strike out, it's important that they show poise. They're a very competitive group, this team, and I think they understand to leave this program better than when they found it, they got to do a good job of teaching these young athletes what it's like to live in this program and how to handle the ups and downs. I think that's going to be important for this team. We're not going to win every game. And I know that and there's going to be some valleys and we got to know how to handle those valleys. We're not going to be living at the top of the hill every weekend of every game. So I need that leadership and that's what these returners are going to supply for this group. Welcome to a full softball preview. What a run this team has been on the last few years. Alex Straco, welcome to Norman. My entire life I've totally been the underdog and really just playing with a chip on my shoulder and I don't really plan on stopping doing that. 
Kinsey Hansen's coming up next. Can you take us through what that process has been like to have that all-important chemistry between you and your battery mate? We are two peas in a pod. We live <laughs> together. We get each other. We know each other. She knows, you know, to tell me a joke on the mound. So if you see me laughing, that's exactly <laughs> why. Kinsey Hansen's hilarious. So building that kind of relationship off the field makes the one in between the lines so much stronger, and it's been really, really fun. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the pride of Norco, California, Kinsey Hansen. I love softball, like with all my heart. So being able to do that and be with teammates that are amazing people and players and be able to feel like myself again, it was just unmatched. Do you know her dad played double A baseball with the Tulsa Drillers? I, I did know that. What was it like to have a dad that was such a, a baller like your dad was growing up, Sid? Well, he turned me into a baller, so <laughs> it's, it's amazing. <laughs> Just getting to know everyone outside of softball is amazing. Like, we're becoming a family. Creating that relationship really made it easier for me when bringing it to the field. Like, once I had that connection, I knew I could say what needed to be said and everything, and it wasn't going to be taken a certain way. Challenging schedule. It is, and it's going to mold us. It's going to make us better. Uh, we're competitors, and that's what competitors want. Yeah, and uh, by the way, this thing gets started in less than a week. That's crazy. <laughs> where'd, this, where'd the offseason go? Somebody fight! Somebody ah. Oh! Yeah. Give a round of applause. What an honor it is to be here. We love to watch other athletes, and that's why we're here. Are you ready for this? Absolutely. All right. yeah. I am here to announce your starters. Number 30. Number 24. Yeah. Number 22. <laughs> What's really important for us is that we're looking out the front window and not in the rearview mirror. This is a new journey with new faces, new team. Each new year is a new opportunity. I'm so excited to see what we do and just all the passion that everyone brings. Watching from the distance, I've played against these girls my whole life, never with them. So I'm glad I'm finally on the same side as them. Everyone's working to beat you and you have that target on your back and you can't let them catch up. This is a new season and we have to keep working, we have to keep grinding, and we have to keep pushing because if we want it, we have to fight for it.